hello everyone uh, welcome to another tutorial and today we will be talking about curator sound authentication so one of my subscribers reached out to me and after watching my curator series wanted to know how he can be able to configure um, sound authentication using ADFS or Active Directory Federation services in curator so I decided to make this video and post it out on there for everyone to watch. Okay. The first thing you want to do is log into your curator instance as administrator and you want to go into the admin tab. So in the admin tab, what you want to do is select authentication. Once you select authentication, it's going to automatically populate to system authentication or LDAP if you have LDAP configured. For this, we want to go ahead and select the option SAM, and then you want to scroll down to the identity provider configuration. So I have a quick documentation here from Microsoft uh, telling us the link that we need to put in onto our browser to be able to download our ADFS metadata XML file, sorry. So you want to go in and type in your um, ADFS server's name, okay, geektogether.com, and then slash, we're gonna paste what we have, and once you do that, and you press enter, that should automatically download your uh, federation metadata.xml file. And when you have that downloaded, we want to go back into authentication. You select the SAM 2.0 and you want to select the option select metadata file. And you go to your downloads folder and you're going to select the federation file we just downloaded. Once you import that file, everything else um, is going to automatically be set up. The only changes you will need to make is you want to, for security reasons, you will want to um, set the request signed accession to yes. You want to set the sign authentication request to yes. And you want to also set the enable service provider initiated single logout to yes. And then here we're going to create local because we want to still be able to manually create those users in Curator. Uh, before they can use their domain credentials to log in using uh, SAM or ADFS. And then what you're gonna do is save authentication model. Once you click the save authentication model, Curator is gonna download a file, okay? And that file is gonna be in your downloads folder and it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be called um, Curator SAM Metadata to Deploy. And then that's what we need for our ADFS server. Okay, since we have that done, I'm going to close that. And the next thing that you're going to see is Curator is going to give you or ask you to deploy changes. At this point, you want to select the deploy changes option and wait for Curator to deploy its changes. The next thing we want to do is we want to go into the users tab and we want to go to add a new user and you want to be able to create the new user on here and make sure that the username you're putting in here has to be exactly the same as the username you're going to have in the backend ADFS server. And you want to also give them their specific user roles and um, security profile. And once you do that, you're going to save. And then once again, you come in and deploy changes because Curator is going to want you to deploy changes. While we're in here, another thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure your system time for Curator is exactly the same as the time of your ADFS server. If they have more than 60 seconds of a time difference, most of your um, 
ADF is tokens or claims that are being sent true and false from pure reader are going to fail and you may have issues with logging in. So you want to make sure the time difference is not more than 60 seconds. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and log into our ADFS server. Okay, and then we're going to go to Relaying Party Trust and we want to add a new Relaying Party Trust. Once you do that, you're going to go to Claims. You're going to leave Claims Aware selected. You're going to go Start and you want to select the option Import Data About the Relaying uh, party from a file then you're gonna go browse and you go to wherever you have your um, file saved and you select that file okay once you select that you're gonna go next and you're gonna have to give it a name so I'm just gonna call this curator and then you're gonna go next and then you will be able to now select if you want to grant everyone permission or if you want to grant it to just a specific group but for now we're going to grant permission to everyone we can change that as we move forward you're going to go next you're going to go next and obviously it's going to fail because i already have curator added but for you it's going to go through and it's going to save and you should see your curator um relaying party trust added on here and then at that point, you should go to, you, you're going to right click onto that option and select edit claim issuance policies. And you want to be able to add a new um, rule. And for you, there's, gonna, there's not going to be any rules in here. So you want to add a new rule and you want to send LDAP attributes as claims. And you can give it a name. And you want to select the attribute store as active directory and the option you want to do here is sam account name and you want to select this the name id because we want to be able to take the sam account name from the ldap attribute and send it to curator as the name id because that's what curator is going to be looking for and then you're going to do finish and then you do apply and okay once that is done that is just one of the steps we need to do in um, our, on our ADFS server. The next thing you want to do is go and open up PowerShell and you want to open up PowerShell as administrator. Once we have that open, you're going to have to go into your command line. Okay. And we are going to have to take some certificates from Curator and install them into our ADFS servers and also have those certificates trusted by ADFS servers so those claims can be encrypted, especially the authentication claims and the sign out claims. So we need to be able to take out those certificates from Curator. So once you SSH into your Curator instance, you want to CD into OPT Curator CA um, www. You can see here as part of this documentation that we have to set up SAM with Microsoft Active Directory Federation Services. Those are part of the instructions. So we have to go into that directory and we have to be able to copy this certificate listed here. There's four of them. And then we're going to go run these commands on our ADFS server. I have this documentation also included down in the, in the description below so you can follow along. So if I LS, these are the four certificates we need. Two, three, four. Okay. So from we only need the CRL, CRL, and the CRT and CRL. So once you um, use SFTP and get this um, certificates into your local computer or into your ADFS server they're going to look like this I already have them installed or downloaded to my server and these are the certificates in here so there are some commands that you're gonna have to run 
um, which are right here you're gonna have to take this copy these commands and paste them into your PowerShell command make sure you are currently in the directory that you save the certificates in and then you can copy and paste these commands that I have also listed in the description below into PowerShell and once you have those commands run and they're all successful now you can go and open a new browser and then you can try to access your um, curator instance at this point point. and once you do it's going to take you to your ADFS authentication page and when you try to log in as the user you created you should be successfully logged in into curator at that point and you see I can also log out And that was successful as well so I know this was kind of a quick video um, I have all the documentation listed below in the description it is pretty straightforward just um, the IBM documentation is kind of um, I'll say troublesome it was hard it is hard for some people to understand um, that's why I got reached out to um, I skipped this step. I didn't do the transforming of um, the claims. I just did uh, the first one, sending the LDAP attributes to uh, as a name ID, and that worked for me fine. Once you get that done and you get this certificate here um, added to your uh, certificate store in ADFS, that should work just fine. And at that point, you should be able to authenticate into your curator using ADFS. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave it down in the comment section below or you can send me an email. I'm always willing to help out as much as I can. Um, just don't hesitate to reach out. Please also subscribe and like my channel and I hope you have a wonderful day.